What's going on guys, Tropical Fish Guy here. I'm bringing you fish supply discounts again. This time around we're talking about heaters. Okay, so the uh, Aqua Quartz Aquarium Heater, I'll leave a link in the description and the comment somewhere up here maybe. Uh, but you can go to uh, tropicalfishguy.com slash heaters. And don't forget to put in the discount code tropicalfishguy to get 20% off. Okay, so 20% off. But right now they're even running a sale uh, so for the, we're going to set this up in the 60 gallon. So depending on uh, what size you get. So I got the 200 watt heater for the 60 gallon tank. The general rule of thumb is three to five watts per gallon, but uh, to make it easy on yourself, just go by the guidelines on this, on what the manufacturer recommends. So this is the one that they recommended. Okay. So if you, if you look on the charts of different aquarium, uh, different heater manufacturers as well, they'll give you different ranges. It all depends on how much of a variance you want to uh, heat the fish tank compared to what the room temperature is. So if you keep your you know, room at 70 and you want to heat it to 80, that's a big difference than if you keep it at 75 and want to heat it to 80, that kind of thing. But like I said, just well, just to be safe, just follow the manufacturer's suggestion and, and you should be fine. I've done that in all my life. 35 years of doing aquariums or whatever it was, 100 years, whatever. But uh, anyways, it's all good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this, unbox this, talk about the features, uh, put it in the tank, and then and then here in about a year or so, I'll, uh, I'll give you an update. Okay, so... The benefits is the rapid thermal accumulation, means it heats fast. LED temperature display, so you see what uh, the, the temperature is. A precise temperature control, I hope so. Uh, auto power off and warning signal. Memory function, okay. High temperature resistant cover. Suitable for fresh and salt. They even have, for support, their contact information, they even have a US toll-free phone number, so, and also the, uh, the email. So that's that's the important thing. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this and put this in the, the tank. All right, so. Right out of the box, got your manual that we're gonna read, that we always read. And it gives you the, like we said, the suggestions of the heaters, uh, uh, voltage, Okay, so this is a pretty this is a pretty fancy heater here. It's got the control. Shows you the current temperature and how you set your your temperature. Okay, hopefully the cord's long enough. You got your actual heater in this big old case. So this case is it's pretty hefty here. This is a big. Uh, this is this is actually a heavy duty heater. Looks like okay. Let me um, open this thing up. So this case is, uh, it should be shatterproof, but the uh, case is very impressive. Makes it very big too. So let's look at the cord here. I'll need to make sure that the cord's long enough. All right. The cord is long enough from the, you wanna put it in, in a corner somewhere hidden, or maybe like this, probably like this hidden underneath some rocks. And the cord should, come out this part right here can't be in the water obviously it's got to be hanging out and then this cord it should be long enough to plug it so that's about uh, I'd say maybe four or five feet uh, maybe let's see arms length I would say from that to this okay arms length and then so three and a half, four feet, something like that. And then from there, this cord here is about six feet. So that, that should be, that's about the standard cord. So maybe 10 feet cord, I don't know. In total, we'll see. Uh, it comes with some brackets and some suction cups. And you can change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, all you all you Celsius guys, you you got it made here too. The important thing to remember is this heater must be fully submerged into the water. Okay, so either this way, this way, however way you want to do it. 
make sure that this whole thing is fully submerged. But this should not be. I don't think it does show that. that this is partially underwater and it shows the 200 watt and it says IP68 rating. So I don't know if it means IP68 for this or IP68 for this, but just to be safe right now, I'm gonna leave this out of the water because it feels like it should not be in, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll drop it in water one day and I'll let you know, but they do give you a specific diagram of how it should be, okay. So they, one thing I don't like is that they don't tell you how to put these clips on or to how, how to put these suction cups on, probably because no one really uses them. <laughs> but anyways, that's one uh, thing I don't like about this. So I'm not gonna be using those clips or the suction cups. The suction cups look like they would just come in here and twist and, and twist, but it feels like that it would actually touch the heater. So when the heater turns on, the suction cups will melt. So they're probably the wrong way. So I'm just going to put that in there, hide it behind some rocks. No one's ever going to see it and we'll go from there. Okay. Let's put it in. And see. And another thing, another thing that I'd recommend is these electronic heaters, they have their own thermometer built in, but I would recommend just a plain old cheapo thermometer just in case, right? This is not the mercury, but whatever. So you can see that my current temperature is about 74. Let's see some two. So yeah, 74, something like that um, Fahrenheit. So these fish here, you know, the, the ideal temperature, I'm gonna do about 78, 80 degrees. They're fine at 74 right now, but it seems a little bit low. So I'm gonna crank it up to about at least 78 degrees and I'll set it for 78 and let's see how the heater works out. All right, let's look at my mess here. But really we're looking at this uh, thermometer here. So it rattles a little bit which I think is normal, but it doesn't seem like it should. But anyways, the current temperature, it says it's 76, which I guess the thermometer says it's about that. So I'm gonna set, there's the button on top. And when it's blinking, it means you're setting it. So I'm gonna set it at 79, okay. When the uh, red light here under heat says heat, it means it's heating. And when it says keep, I imagine that's the, the that's where it uh, stabilizes that. So there's that, that's pretty easy to do. There's no really hard settings or anything like that. So we'll keep that there. Uh, you know what, that clamp, I bet you the clamp was for this, to clamp it onto the side of the aquarium, not the clamp for the actual heater. But anyways, let's see. Yeah, check it out. That's what that clamp was for. So you can put that there. So, oh, look there, boom. Then you set that onto the heater. Let's do that, or onto the tank. So you can set it on top of something. I would not recommend just setting it right here because it will easily fall, perhaps. Perhaps underneath there, nope. Somebody tell me if I'm doing it wrong, but for now, I'm just gonna let it hang in my pile here and just monitor it. And then after a while, I think uh, if everything works out, I'll cover it up with some rocks or something or hide it better. But so far so good. We'll see how fast it moves up from 76 to 79. Okay, said I'll monitor this. So I'll update you after several months or so and see how this thing is going. All right, so that was a quick one, guys. I'm, uh, you know, pretty happy with the heater so far. Obviously, just got it started, but it seems pretty sturdy, seems pretty tough. I like the case around it, so the fish can't, uh, fish won't get burned. Or actually, for me, I've got big rocks, so uh, if a rock actually crashes on it, it's broke a couple of heaters before. So I love that case for that you know, rock protection, not so much fish protection, but rock protection. 
anyways um get the heater on sale uh it's about this the, the one for 60 gallon and higher or the one for this tank is a 200 watt right now it's on sale as of this video for like 42 bucks but use a discount code okay go to tropicalfishguide.com slash heaters okay uh it'll pull this page up for this heater use the discount code tropical fish guy get 20 percent off so what is 20% uh, off 42? It's like eight or eight or 10 bucks, whatever it is. I'm, I'm the, not the math guy, I'm the fish guy, so we'll do the math, but it's like 30 bucks, which is pretty reasonable these days, you know? So definitely use the discount code. Leave the, I'll leave the links in the description. And uh, oh, if you haven't seen my fish supply discount for the light, check out this light. See how, how good this light is? I'll leave a link in the description below on that as well, or somewhere up here. Thanks so much guys, really appreciate it. Do what you guys do. Please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share this with someone who needs a heater or you believe uh, can benefit from fish supply discounts. Um, so thanks so much, really appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment, tell me what you guys think, what I've left off, whatever. And uh, as always, happy fish keeping, peace.